Here's a video on how to factory reset the BT Business Hub, otherwise known as Enterprise SH31B. And on the back of it, it's the Business Smart Hub 3. And on the underside, it's got a model number of F5394-CP uh, space BT. So this will be useful if you've forgotten some of the details to log into it. Someone's changed the admin password, which is on the back of there, or uh, you've turned off DHCP, you don't know what IP address it's on, or some other things. What you will need is an unbent paper clip, or something very similar, or a SIM eject tool from a phone or something. And on the back of the router, to the right of the power button, there is a reset hole. What I'm going to do is make the router face you, and I will let you know when I'm going to press that reset button. And you can see what the lights do on the front of the router while it reboots and gets ready to connect again. So I've got the pin in place, and I'm going to briefly press the reset button now. And then I've let go. So that was pressed for less than a second, or possibly around a second. So what will happen now is the BT Business Hub will reboot and should come back up with the default settings rather than whatever custom settings you may have previously set. The router does take quite some time to boot up. If this video has already been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. There we go, the router has started up and the blue logo, or the blue light around the logo, uh, signifies that it is connected to the broadband service correctly. I don't yet see the BT Hub Wi-Fi name, but it'll probably take another few seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds, uh, before it's started up its Wi-Fi side of the network.